Hello, wonderful farmers. Welcome back to the From the Farmyard podcast, where we talk about our, all things from the farmyard. Um, today we're going to be planting things in the garden. I'm going to get all of this stuff done. Um, I'm going to be trying to teach information as, as well as trying to get this as compact as possible. Uh, because I feel like that is a good thing to do. So, I have beans that I saved from last year, and don't worry, we are going to be going over how to save um, seeds from your crops as well, as well. This year, once things start going and we are able to save seeds from them, we will be doing that. So, these are the, this is the trellis that I'm using. I'm going to be putting one on every prong, and I'm doing that because it is easier or when they start trellising they need this to be able to start tre trellising and you will have to wind them up a few times or get them back on their own one or move one over that's fine what i do is i will do a little indent in the ground well a trench actually a little trench along the ground always count to see how many seeds you need um and if you're not sure if one looks right, you can do a double and one to be safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are green beans. These guys are going to be planted and I will be kind of doing them in succession sowing because I will be having these and then once my corn gets tall, or gets tall enough to be able to support a vine, like the green bean, it will be going, I will be planting them there too. I'm going to put them there, and there, and there. Some of these are going to be off camera, I do know, but that'll be fine. As you can see, they're right there, up against, or right in front of a prong, but I'm just going to cover with not a bunch of soil, but cover with enough that it gives it some support when the roots come in and then close them in from both sides. So when you are direct sowing anything, you need to also be aware that you are probably going to lose some to birds that are swooping down eating your crops. Um, that is to be expected, just so you know. Um, it is the time of year where birds are hunting for things and things popping up is a great way for them to do that. But these guys should be fine. I think I did have problems with lima beans last year. I don't know what kept eating them, but whatever it was, loved it a lima bean. But when you are direct sowing, you do need to be mindful of that you are probably gonna lose some, and if you don't, kudos to you. I mean, that's a good thing. Some years are gonna be harder on a gardener. Um, some years because of drought or flooding. Things like that are gonna take a toll on how well your garden performs. Um, this year, we are expecting it to get really hot where I am in central Virginia. And that's, I don't like it, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to water extra and that's the joy, that's, that's I mean, living, as modern as we do, that is a luxury that we have where maybe drought won't necessarily kill something. I mean, it can still, like, burn it and maybe make your plants not produce as well. But I do have the option of watering. I do get shade in the morning until about, like, 10, 30, 11. And then in the afternoon, my house is right here. So it will go behind it. And then it does get afternoon shade as well. So it gets morning and afternoon but during the day from like 10, 30 or 11 to probably five or six, it gets sun that entire time, which again is wonderful news. And that's what it needs. When a garden says full sun, it doesn't need 12 hours of sun a day. It, mean, it needs six hours. Six hours is what most things need. Okay, so we have three T-posts in for my arch trellis. I'm going to go about a foot away from the prong. Dig a little hole and just a little indent, like the first knuckle in your finger. Drop it down. 
cover it up. Again, a foot off. We're gonna go right here. Dig down. Drop it in. It's a little bit deeper than the first knuckle, but it's gonna be fine. That is how I do my beans and my zucchini. I am going to plant a few more things with you guys. Okay, now I'm going to be planting two cucumbers. Um, the straight eight regular cucumbers. That's a sunflower. Mammoth Russian sunflower. And then Mexican sour gherkins. Let me go ahead and start with the straight eights. That'll be what I start with. You are going to find different ways of planting. Each person's methods are going to be different. That I know. My methods of planting work for me and how I grow things. But how I grow things isn't going to work for somebody else necessarily. If you don't live where I live, you're not doing things the way that I do. You don't have the same soil that I use. Things like that. With this, I'm going to... Let me show you guys. I think it's the smallest kiddie pool that you can get. And I have pieces of lattice that we got. What I'm going to do is do a little trench. Same thing I did before. I'm going to do a little trench on either side of where this lattice is. What I'm doing with this, because these are going to vine, once they get big enough, I'm going to attach them to this trellis. They are probably not going to stay, but it is also going to create a little bit of shade. They are bordered by um, four tomato walls cattle panels with trellises and then they are also um, bordered by my arch trellis which is all going to be really full this area should not get a lot of direct light once everything is grown um, which cucumbers they can struggle in the heat so do keep that in mind like I said um, this is 58 days to harvest um, I think I had some things that were a little bit less um, but you know what, we're here now. So I'm going to do six seeds, one on each, um, three on each piece of lattice, and that's going to have to be what works. If they don't come up, I will go back and re -sew. I'm going to do three on each side. I will attach them to the lattice once they start trellising and going out, but I feel like their vines are already going to be reaching for it anyways. Put another one down there, another one here, and another one down there. And again, same concept as before, you just cover it up. Make sure there's no big clumps, like that big clump that I just had, you didn't even see it. Don't make, make sure there's no big clumps in front of it so the seeds can actually sprout. Okie doke, like I said, I'm here again with my Mexican sour gherkins. I'm going to do every third um, prong with these. These will vine out more so from what I've seen. These have not actually grown well for me because the area that they were in, it was off. It was a poor area. You will find things that work best for you. Um, if you have really tiny seeds, you don't want them buried deep, obviously. So I'm just gonna do a little indent with my finger, put it down, a little indent just like that. I'm going to put one right there. That is the seed. And I'm just going to grab soil from a different area and cover it just like so. Do a little indent. It's not as big, that's just a clump there, but a little seed in there and cover it on up. And then I'll move a couple prongs down. So I'm just gonna break up any soil bits. Do a little indent. I'll indent more on the sides you can see. But indent, seed, pretty straightforward here and you just repeat, repeat this on the area. Um, let me go ahead and plant the rest of these and then I will get back with you. I will get back with you guys in just a moment to do the mammoth Russian sunflowers and then the, what else do I have last? And the zinnias, the zinnias and the mammoth Russian sunflowers and I need to go inside and grab the nasturtium so I'll be right back. Oh, and while I am getting these out of the packet, more one two three um i have heard because mine did not do so well last year i have heard that they take a while to 
germinate or to grow really at all. So if they do just stop growing, it's not because of you. Um, they take a while, but then after that little short period of maybe two or three weeks, they shoot up and they'll be, they'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do these mammoth Russians. I'm gonna show you guys doing the hold and I'm gonna get the seed out of the packet and show you guys. So the hole I am gonna dig down probably first indent or first knuckle in my finger. And these are mammoth Russians. These can get like 13 foot tall, 12 foot actually, 12 to 13 foot actually. But I think 12 they'd just stick with to be safer just so you're not like expecting something bigger than that. Okay, here is the mammoth Russian seed. Uh, there is the hole and I'm going to drop it in. And you get soil, make sure there's no big clumps in what you're getting. Okay, cover it up and yeah, that'll be good for the sunflowers. You might be wondering, why are you planting flowers with your vegetables? Because it attracts the pollinators, first of all, but it also brings more beauty to the garden to where everything is not green. Um, everything being green gets a little boring sometimes, um, but adding color, adding what I'm adding, sunflowers, height, um, different things like that is all very beneficial to me. Um, and my garden because you're attracting pollinators with that and you are getting um, you're using your space and it's gonna make a space that really touches your heart while I'm getting these seeds out um, everything that I'm doing here is companion planting um, we have a video coming out on that soon so I'm not gonna talk really a lot about it but it is companion planting um, I'm not just planting one thing in one row or in a set area, these are kind of going all over the place. Um, I am planting nasturtiums now. I have never grown nasturtiums, but I heard they're a good trap crop. We also have a video coming out on that, so if you are interesting, interested in that, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you will be notified when we post a new video. That will be very, it'll be a very interesting video, I'm sure. All of our videos are interesting if you want to go back i know that we do have playlists linked this will probably be linked with our gardening section instead of our podcast section because this isn't a podcast section okay these are the nasturtium seeds let's get it flat first dig a little indent and drop a nasturtium in you can see it but what i'm doing is planting them next to my squash and zucchini because I've heard that they are trap crops for the bugs. The bugs will eat these instead of the actual plant. I don't know, we're gonna try it. But I dug a little indent, you can see it. Drop a seed in there and you cover it up. Really all plantings like this, you need to really gauge the size of your seed um, to know what, your, what size hole that you're gonna do. And once you do that, gardening gets kind of easy once you, and once you grow things once or twice, you'll know. Like with my corn, I dug, I, last year, my first set was, my first round of corn was not planted deep enough. So you will get the hang of that, of how deep things need to be. Some things are more forgiving than others. So when you were doing this, of course, you do stay mindful of, where things are going, but also realize how big some things are going to get. Don't crowd five squash plants into one one foot or every foot five foot apart. You don't want to do that. They get much too large for them to be that close. It would stunt the ones in the middle and the ones on the outside would kind of go crazy if given the opportunity. And if you do plant five like that, maybe pull out the second and the fourth one to give them more room. Um, but you can do that, and if you if that's how you plant, where you plant five, where if you plant them really close together and you want them to be a little small, that's fine. I'm not telling you to change your ways of gardening. I'm just we're just here to tell you how things best work for us, um, and this is what works for me. How I'm gardening, how I plant things, and how I ultimately do my garden. Um, I want to be producing a lot of food, but I also want to be 
growing something that is calming and is peaceful and is good for the garden or good for the environment good for the garden because think about this if you had these things out and i won't go too long on this i know i'm this is already getting longer if you are doing things if nature if this if this was on if nature was doing it what would happen is there would be flowers next to cucumbers or tomatoes they would be growing together they wouldn't be separated here or there or things like that so i put things together and that's how i enjoy doing things if other people don't enjoy doing things or you see that it's a waste of space i'm not telling you to change your way of gardening i just like doing things this way we don't we're not shaming anybody here if you do garden like that great you, you found you found what works for you and that's what works I don't know how many zinnia seeds I'm going to use, but that seems sufficient enough. And these seeds are a decent size. You want to dig down, do a little hole, and put one in. I might put two in. Put two in, cover it up. I want these seeds to germinate, like, really bad. The hole is right here. And I'm going to actually drop probably three seeds in here. And that's it. And then you close it in with dirt. And that's how you do it. I'm back a few minutes later. All those uh, zinnias are planted. I cannot wait to show you guys the garden tours that we are going to be doing on my channel. But also on this channel as well. We are going to be doing a few. Not as many as what we're going to be doing on our own channels, but we will be doing them um, periodically on here just to give updates. But thank you guys for watching. Um, and our goal here is to inspire people to garden, um, whether you're doing it the same way that we're doing it or a completely different way or in buckets or kiddie pools or you're looking in some way to do it. You only have a small space. We're here for that. And if you have any questions, please do not be afraid to leave your comment or to leave those questions in the comments below. We will answer them. If you want to email us, our email is linked below as always. If you want to uh, message us on Instagram, that's fine too. We're doing this for you guys, to help you guys, but also to learn and grow as a com community. And when we are doing this, we are trying to figure out different ways and how we can help the most people as possible. And that is growing different things. It is doing things a little bit differently, doing things maybe a little bit outside the box. That's fine. Um, but we're here to help you guys. And the comments, leave your things in the comments. And it, it, trust me, the one day it'll, it's gonna be a, such a useful place of information for our channel is going to be the comments because you're leaving your ideas, you're leaving things like that. So yeah, we can give you guys help now, but we'll be here. But thank you guys, have a good week, or weekend, have a good week, um, and until we see you guys again.